backstage getting my armpits blow dry during commercials. I was so wetting. Anyway, from the age of three, we watched our first guest grow up and become a talented young actress that she is today. Her latest movie is Disney's Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue, and it comes out later this month. Please welcome the very lovely Raven Simone. Introduction is say, ladies and gentlemen, little sister in my head, <laughs> and now on the couch, Raven Simone. Hello. You know I love you. I love you too. All right. Yes. <laughs> well, how much have you lost? I lost weight. You look fabulous. <laughs> really? Uh, or that dress is fitting, and your boobs are sitting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your hair, which is on your microphone. Oh. Your hair is fab. Extensions plus 32 inches. Yes. Yes. <laughs> And your skin looks great. So does yours. My mom and I were saying, she is just milky just today. You are glistening. Thank you. Th thank you. Milky. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. So how old are we now? 24? I'm 24. Look I'll be 25 you. in December. I'm so excited. Look at you. I can rent a car without paying an extra $30. As well you should. You've, you've been uh, working as an actress since you were th like three years old, and I know that under the tutelage of your mother and father guiding your career, at least early back then, she, this is one of the smart girls in Hollywood. Uh, I, I know you've saved your Lucci. I heard about your house with the guest house. <laughs> I bought a house last year. Mm -hmm. I call it a mini man because it's not like a super mansion. But it's it's only you, Rafe. You don't need all that. I need, I got a closet room. Like one of the bedrooms is a closet. One of the other rooms is a music studio. My other room is for my mama only. She doesn't like anybody else in there. Got it. Then I got an office downstairs, and then I need another shoe closet because when I came to New York, there was a shoe sale. I need another. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, are you still driving fancy European cars? Last yes. we talked, you'd gotten rid of your Lotus, and I know. and you went on to something else. No, I have the Porsche 911 and a Porsche Cayenne, but I lowered the Cayenne because you know it can sometimes look like a mommy car, so we had to drop it. Dropped it down. Blacked it out. Uh huh. Uh, so, uh, she said, I smacked it. It was beastie. So, um, here we are uh, uh, in fall, but how was your summer, like the hot part of the summer? Well, it's cool because my house has a pool. Oh, of course. No, it's, it's, so, not, it's so much fun for me. Yes. So, I'm able to decorate my house, and um, throughout the summer, my brother came and visited, and he stays in the back house when he comes to visit. And then it's funny because now we're getting along because he's 18 years old. Brother's cute. Oh, my brother. You plays. hold on to him, though. I smell trouble. <laughs> What's you his have name? No idea, huh? What's his name? Blaze. Bla is that a street Calm name or is that his real name? <laughs> <laughs> but but I can see you being that sister uh, with a, a, a lot of opinion on every girl that he brings around. You know what? My I was raised. I had a lot of guys in my life as I was growing up, and I know how guys can be. So with my brother, I'm like, so what's happening? What do mm -hmm. you need today? And I try to, you know, talk to him like a talk brother. Talk to him like I'm a brother. Yes. And he's actually very open. And now that, like I said, he's getting older, we're able to talk a little bit more. And I play Street Fighter with him all the time, so Good. it kind of, you know, bonds us. And I just got to teach him how to cook next. We're working on that. Yes. Well, let's talk about. Yeah, that's a good thing. Let's talk about your cooking. Um, Raven is also highly domestic, and I'm waiting for you to turn this into even more. You know, I'm, I'm Me watching too, you. Me too, actually. I'm trying to pitch that show. I'm working on it. All right, because we have that in common. It's not that I'm highly domestic, but I love crafting and I love being alone. That's enough to be domestic. Yes. <laughs> Tell about what you do in your big McMinnie mansion by yourself. <laughs> oh, a McMinnie mansion. Yeah, well, whatever you call that I big like house that. I'm good. Well, it's not that. It's a mini mini. But um, I love sitting in my bedroom staring at the ceiling, thinking about nothing. Yes. And playing solitaire on the new phone. That just brings me joy. Yes. Now, do you, do you bring out a glue gun ever? Or do you ever make things? Or is... Well, I got wood floors. So oh. until I get that right carpet in the crafting area, yes. I don't want to mess up because, you know, glue guns cause havoc yes. everywhere. Yes, yes. But um, I do paint because I have wonderful views of the, the pool. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to try to draw water. Oh. And... Um, <laughs> Doesn't it sound heavenly, you guys? It's so much fun. Thanks, Mom. She helped me with that. The thing about Raven that I love 
And I'm extracting this information. I love how she delivers it with dramatic flair. <laughs> because, because, you know, it's fun to see a nice, well-rounded young girl who, you know, I'd like her to come and brag about what she's doing and everything, because she doesn't deliver it like a bragging, stink little girl. She delivers it like a responsible woman. I remember one of the first times, no, when I was back on the radio, and, and she'd come to see me, and I said to her, um, so what are you up to? And you told me that you, you had the champagne bubbles, diamonds oh, from Tiffany. Gonna, I was gonna wear them today, but I had to wear my, my butterflies, but I, I was gonna wear them today, because remember I told you I found them. Yes, yeah, well, here's the thing. And she shops at Louie, and I never took it as bragging. I just, I like to hear that about you. Well, but then I also, sh my mom shops for me at TJ Maxx. I know. So I mean, I, mean, I know. It, it, look, you know. That's a given that you know how to make a, a dollar holler as well. I mean, that's important. We've made all the time go by without talking about, so let's get and to it. And this is why I'm here. So, yes. There's a new movie on DVD and Blu-ray coming out September 21st. It's called Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. I play a fairy, actually an African-American fairy, which is super cool, by the name of Iridessa. She is Tinkerbell's best friend, along with a couple others, played by Lucy Liu, yes. Christian Chinowitz, and there's also an yeah, appearance no, by Michael Sheen, and we... For the first time as fair for the first time as fairies get to meet <laughs> a human. And this story is before t are you what? I'm trying to promote I'm something. And I'm obsessing. And we're promoting these two. Yes. Wendy, you know why I like you? Why? You get me in trouble. I like it. I like it. I just <laughs> One day, I want to come to the house, and I don't want you to have anybody over, and I just want to sit around the pool and do stuff. I, let's do it today. I, I, I can't. I'm working. Me neither. I'm working, too. <laughs> Talk more about this, please. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's coming out. It's actually a really fun film. You might think, because it's animation and it's fairies, that it's just for your girls, but I have to admit, you'd love it. Your husband's going to love it, because there's a wonderful story about a father and a daughter and understanding and friendship and relationship, and I think people are going to love it. Well, I'm glad that you are doing this. And I am glad that you are still a part of the Hollywood scene. And I'm glad that you've come back to this show. I told you I would. I know. My little sister. <laughs> Look, we're going to take a break, though. And then Raven's going to join me for a segment of Ask Wendy. So keep it right here, because there's more next. and we're doing a special edition of Ask Wendy and Raven Simone. And before we get to that, I do have to say that I neglected to ask Raven about her love life, life, love life because you're always so cryptic with me. But Well, I don't talk about it, but I have to say that I'm very, very happy right now. So that's all I have to say. Aww. All right. So now how can I help you here? Step out. Hi, Raven. My name is Danielle. Hey. Um, Hi. I'm a bartender, and I'm moving to North Carolina in two and a half weeks. And my boss is infamous for firing people right away when he finds out that you're quitting. Yes. So my question is, should I give him two weeks? Should I give him a week? Should I just wait till the last day and, and leave? What should I do? Because the tips are my livelihood. So. I say wait till the last 24 hours. What yeah, do you yeah. say? <laughs> yeah. 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 Good luck with your move. Yeah, good luck Thank with that. You. Thank you. All right. I'm glad you're moving. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I'm from the Bahamas, right? Okay. And usually in the Bahamas, your parents tell you who you should date or who you shouldn't date. Well, at least in my household, my mother tells me who she approves of or who she doesn't approve. So I'm wondering, if I start to date somebody, when is the right time to tell her, even though I know she's not going to approve? How old are you? I'm 18. I'm go. Right let me, let me explain something to you. <laughs> this is what I have learned. She's Where right is there. Where's your mama? She's right there sitting. Right here. Right here. Okay. Hey, Oh. your mama. <laughs> All right. I have to, even I have to tell my mom everyone that I even talk to. I know you make that face, but come on now. Like, moms will always, yeah. no offense, no offense, mama, don't hurt me when I get back there. <laughs> Mamas will always be respectfully in your business until yeah. they're gone. Well, I, I do have to say, though, um, with you being a Hollywood actress, your parents were always very in your life at 18. For me, I was away at college doing things. <laughs> where, where do you live? I live in the Bahamas, Grand Bahama. No, I'm talking about... With, with, I live with my mother. Okay, then follow you know, the rules of the house. You should probably tell her. <laughs> yep. so I Just in her. case, you know. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or move out. <laughs> and do things. <laughs> All right, we have time for one more question. 
Uh-huh. Your ankle's cold. <laughs> I'm just playing, boo-boo. I'm just playing. How you doing? I'm Hi, just Sue playing. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Christian. I want to give a birthday shout-out to my friend, Didi. But I have a question. I have, um, I'm a stylist, and I have an unsupported father who doesn't believe that the fashion industry is where I should be. He believes I should have a 9-to-5. Should I, like, leave him alone or just follow my dream? Like, I'm lost in that because that's my dad, and I need him to be, like, 9 to 5 is so last year. The creative industry is what everybody is doing. I try to tell him. I mean, it's, it's, it's short on, it's short on um, staying power, but, but good while it lasts. What do you say? I say you get a 9 to 5, and all those hours that you have free, do your styling, and then when the styling pops off, say goodbye to the 9 to 5 and say, Dad, look, I did it, and I followed what you wanted me to do. Yes, good. A balance, a balance. September 21st, studio audience, you're all going home with a copy. We'll take a break. Up next, the real life inspiration behind the movie The Blind Side, Leanne and Sean Tui will be here. Don't go away.